a very good afternoon. It is, isn't it? It is, it is afternoon yes. now, yes, definitely. This is Ochanda. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm here, Rachel Pearman, with the fabulous Lou. Another Lou. I know. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much I'm indeed. I'm acting as if we know each other really well. We don't. We met like 20 minutes ago <laughs> and had a chat. But yeah, it's, it's very nice to meet all these new people. Oh, it must be it must be so intriguing as well, just it to is. see what everybody does yeah. and, what, and what things they're all into as well. Yeah, and yeah. do you know what's so great so far? I mean, obviously this is my second day. I did a day uh, the other day uh, on Tuesday, but what's been fantastic is that nothing has been repeated. Everything mm, has been different and lots of different variety, lots of new things and different types of shows and crafts and the guests. It's It's been wonderful. It so each hour more appealing isn't it because you're learning yeah, something each time yeah absolutely and mm. i am very interested it is a genuine genuine interest um so right lou um this show wh what's it all about how would you like to kind of summarize what's going to be happening in this hour and what we've got well, well the focus is obviously the beautiful beautiful papers, rice yeah. papers um and all the the different designs you've got i mean you've got bigger designs you've got smaller designs you chop into the papers but they are oh they are lovely they're mm. wonderful and they've been split into different categories yeah. from everybody but there's I, I can't pick one yeah over any of them that i think that i like the most i mean i can see bits in all of them yes sort of thing. but they yeah. are the beautiful incredible quality yes you know, really nice thick papers that take any medium you want to throw at mm. it paints layer it mm. Yeah. The world's your oyster, really. The world is your oyster. Just yeah. have a go, don't you? There yes. are five different options available for you as well if we have a look at them. Uh, we'll actually go through them uh, for you right now. But uh, basically, if you pay £9.99, uh, what? no, that can't be for all five, can it? That's per option, surely. Yeah, yeah. for nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I was going to say. That would be extraordinary. <gasps> yes. We would sell that within 30 seconds <laughs> if the lot was nine ninety nine. So uh, you get five sheets for nine ninety nine, but they are absolutely beautiful. Mm. I mean, look at them, those cats there extraordinary well, that, but that's the whole collection there's more within mm. there as well yeah there yes. it is lovely it's lovely real real expressions yes and yeah it, if you do the water technique on the rice paper you can then mm. really feather out mm. so they look really fluffy yes and kitten like mm, yeah. you know like that. so that would make the images look beautiful it would well we're actually scanning across now as we can see uh, so we've got cogs on there you've got your letters you've got your world maps you've got the lovely florals and butterflies yeah. there which we know people love and then you've got the animals and people love their animals don't they let's have a little pick and flick yes yeah, so w which one would you like to start oh, with my love? let's start with butterflies okay. please because it's the nearest to us okay <laughs> and and people do love butterflies and bees and yes. bees and flowers yeah um I these mean, are i mean that's one whole sheet but yeah. it's don't look at it as one whole sheet you've got how many flowers on there yeah. you've got butterfly images on there you've got text on there even the white space around the edge which i was saying this morning use that and stamp yeah just you know, stamp, right stamp your sentiments on yes. and then you know put that on top of your project yes, as well absolutely so you're still keeping like a single layer but you can still add all that depth and all those layers so it is there's so many elements just on that one sheet alone yeah that you can use exactly yeah and and i think you know a lot of people would love to be able to create this themselves mm. but maybe not be able to do it but this almost looked like you have created you have, it yourself yeah. and i covered them um, well, like that one there was mm. the one i used this morning and i just put her on a whole canvas and yeah. covered her in the beautiful gel medium yeah and she, she makes a lovely piece an art piece in her own right but in the same breath you've still got butterfly wings you've still got a beautiful rose mm. and the hair would make a wonderful background because if yes. you cut it away it doesn't look like hair no it looks yeah. like an embellishment turn it the other way round it yes. looks like you've got something flowing up that project right. yeah exactly it's just about looking at things mm. in a different way these are really interesting so you've got these figures these heads but made out of flowers they're lovely but i like that you've got the mirror image so if you've got a, um, an art journal that you do two pages on at the same time mm. you can actually have them looking at each other so you've got mm. that mirror image yes and you don't often get that no so i, I found i think that's yeah mm. that's silly way it's very mm. different isn't it yeah yeah lovely okay and then we are back there with that one and we've got this one so now you've got your little sort of um uh, smaller pieces yes. haven't you you've got the flowers you've got the bee on there mm. but you've got the smaller pieces but again you've got a whole flower there like a lily yes you could actually just take out the lily alone and then yeah. use the bee on a separate project exactly use the lily image there with the bee mm. so it's even though they've, they've done you, you can chop into them as much as you want yeah. or if not just leave them whole yeah lovely and then back to the very beginning beautiful absolutely stunning and can i just say oh, they feel you know because i love going into uh, to shops to look and at papers feel. and you know handmade papers mm. are really expensive ones oh and these have got 
a really good robust yeah. feel to them yeah. haven't they and you yeah. can see the fiber content yeah. yeah they're great to work with they are easy to work with as yeah. well yeah well they feel absolutely mm. fabulous lovely okay well let's have a look at what was that one called again sorry that was butterflies and bees, bees. Yeah. yeah butterflies and bees perfect let's have a look at this one then so this is the uh, maps the old maps so this is that kind of whole vintage feel um and and these are very interesting as well well we're going to be using this one on, on one of the first demos but look at the images you've got there mm. you've got a unicorn yeah you've got the dog you, you just have you don't have to get the map the edging yeah that can actually that put can on as used. edging strips yes. as well sort of thing so you've got lots of alternatives in there yeah i love the colors on this one with it very vintage feel, feel about it yeah. but again you, you can cut these bits out you've got a border so you don't you think about how the pieces mm. if you want to chop and change them yeah. and you know use them in different projects yeah this now i like this one mm. with the compass on there that's I mean, fantastic. that's beautiful. That could go on a whole page if you wanted yes, to it could. as well. Um, or just take the compass out. Mm. Or if you've got, you know, you could actually just go around, instead of taking the compass out, go around with your paints and your inks yes. and make that the feature. Yes. By actually adding depth. shading and yes. depth along those lines. Absolutely, yeah. And then this one, the amount of detail in these papers is, know, is incredible, isn't it? And the, the colour. That's the colour, isn't yeah, it? So yeah. I mean, even though they've got the vintage vibe to it, it's, it's the actual colour. But it's... If you then spend time and look into the papers, yes. it's actually, like you were saying, the detail, but it's the content within there. There is mm. absolutely loads. So you've got the other map ones. If you wanted to, you could actually just take those bits out and put it on top of the other page if you wanted yeah. to, and vice versa. So you've changed the look again. Yeah. Ooh, and I love the colours of this one. Mm. Wow. Do you know what? I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I want to see this <laughs> close up because there's so much detail on there. Wow. I just love the blue grey in the background. That's fabulous, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's like, the, you know, with the sea monster in the sea. That reminds me of, um, you know, the Where's Wally mm. books when there's so much detail on a page. That reminds me of that there. But there is, there is, I mean, you, like again, you can use it as a whole page, but think of the different elements. I mean, that there as a little element in a corner mm. would be superb even if you stuck it to a piece of card and raised it yeah. so you could then have something sticking behind it in a journal yeah it becomes like a corner yes um, so there's, there is there's lots and lots within each of the sheets beautiful yeah these are wonderful mm. yeah and you know i've not i've not seen things like this no so and i've done this for quite a long time <laughs> uh so th this is this is interesting stuff brilliant okay well this is called old maps so that's a nice one as well to have a look at go to the next one then so this is grunge okay so that's this beautiful. is kind of like um sort of a, a, a tiled mosaic yes, tile it is, isn't it but you've got the depth of that you've got the, the the stronger colour at the front but you've still got depth going in and mm. looking at all the different elements but that's a great one if you didn't know where to start with stenciling yes have a look see if you've got a stencil something similar mm. and, and actually go over the different areas or alternatively um paint in mm. and you know highlight them in different ways in different ways yeah yeah perfect oh look at that and the depth in this one as yes. well because you've got the script you've got scrolls the colour mm. I, I just I'm, I'm I love I'm a blues. blue person I, I like love the blues mm. yeah and um, I just think that it's it's wonderful there, there is and considering it's flat mm. it's incredible depth, isn't it yeah I, I think this is one of those things as well that on TV you might be looking going that's nice <laughs> when you get them home you'll go whoa yeah because you lovely. can actually see I mean yeah. the colors in that one again Yes, and you've got that little sort of focal rust. points there mm. as well, and the rust. So you've got the blues, you've got sand tones, you've got um, sepias, you've got rust. So if you're thinking about all the different things at home, you've got paints, inks, yes. distresses, oxides, yeah. and you think they can all suddenly go together because yeah. you, you've got so many colours that you will always find something that matches. Do you know, my husband's a graphic designer, mm. so I've been around this for like 25 mm. years, but he's mainly a kind of corporate mm. designer. But he started doing some crafty bits and mm. pieces, and I said, well, you can start designing for us on our company yeah. now. Yeah. So that's something we're going to do. And he's really into this layering thing, mm. so I, I want to show him these yeah. because, you know, he... He actually saw like a titles on a TV mm. program that was like this. And he yes. said, I really like that kind of multi-layering thing. This is really interesting. And you, you looked at it and you go, wow, there's a lot of work in there, isn't there? There is a lot of work. But I mean, you, if you wanted to, you could make three panels out of that because you've got two blue yeah. and then you've got a centre panel. Centre panel, yeah. So you could split it up now and make it go, th you know, use it three times mm. in different ways. And each one would give a slightly different look to it. Yeah, lovely. Oh, fabulous. Now, this is great. This just, this to me is like... Um, <laughs> the sort of old films and and you know and 
I had ransom notes. Ransom yes. notes. That was I was going to say. This morning. I, yeah, I, I, I didn't want to say that because I thought, oh, it's probably a negative uh, thing. But yeah, the ransom note. You know, come now, whatever. You know, buy now, whatever. But yeah, that, so they're interesting. Got, yeah. So these are your capital letters. And you've got them repeated twice. Yes. Uh, but yeah. I like the fact that you've got quite a few of the vowels. Yes. Yeah. So that's handy. So that is really, really handy when you want to make yeah. um, some of the other words up. Yeah. Because uh, sometimes you only just get the twenty-six letters, don't you? Yes. So then it's things like, of words. How can I? Yeah. That, you know that can only use those ones once yeah. whereas you've got more options with them and I like all the colors the colors are lovely and so the shapes are lovely the way they're written the letters of the same colors if you mm. wanted to to create one word mm. or you could actually mix them the different color blends up together yeah and the little fly in there I as well know. that's the only kind of fly we like isn't and it a little <laughs> peaky yeah person there as well Perfect. so you've got different but then as I said the white space around stand. use that Use your own handwriting and do, yeah. and, and, and stick it down. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't get rid of it. No. And obviously this is the lowercase, and you've got numbers, mm. and then obviously you've got the, the punctuation as well. Yeah. And again, repeated, so you get twice as much. Yeah, that's our fees for the day, isn't it? <laughs> that's how, you know, what is that? Is that four? Four? What is that? Forty thousand. Oh yeah. Yeah. 40, There's forty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Forty thousand a day. Yeah. Mm. That'd be good, Only if I was Holly yeah. Willoughby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So that's great. Okay, well, they're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? So if you uh, want to choose that one, uh, that was called Grunge. Um, and then we've got the Rusty rusty Time. Now I'm thinking, is this a bit sort of steampunky ish, yes. coggy? Yeah, coggy, ish. yes, yeah. ish. Um, so you've got the cogs, you've got the time. And obviously, that's a slightly darker one, but they're slightly more muted. Mm. Um, but again, go over them if you've got like, um, we've got some pearlescent paints on there. Go over it, water your paints down slightly and go over it. And you've changed the look again. Yes. So yeah. if you went over with like a peach pearlescent paint mm. and watered it down and went over the top of that, mm. you, you've made it softer. Yeah. Yes, automatically. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, whereas at the moment it's very strong. So you can actually knock the, the designs back or, you know, add more punch to them if you want to. Yeah, because I'm going to say, I. I you said it much better than mm. me, but I was thinking in my head you could vintage these up more, mm. definitely, because they are quite um, proud, aren't yeah. they, at the moment? They are quite strong. That's interesting. Now, that almost I love looks this. real. I, 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 yeah. And the one, the next one the, on the smaller panel, I, oh, I think, oh, it's the, sorry, I'm going to... That one? Yeah. Yes. Now, I love these. Yeah, and they're we're gonna great. we're going to be using them in a demo. I mean, for one thing, you've got six panels there if you want to do six panels. Yeah. I mean, this one, I don't know, one, two, three, four... Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got thirty little panels if you mm. want to do. So you, I'm going to use them as a whole sheet, but you could actually tear those away and have yeah. lots of individual panels on a page mm. and put something small in each one. Yeah. Which means you could do quite a few projects just from two yeah. sheets alone. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. And then we've got that one in the middle. I so see. Look at those colours. That's just lovely, isn't it? And it just seamless blending, isn't it? Mm. Sort of thing. And I like the the you know, the, the line markations as well yes. within it. But again, if you're not sure about colours that you could put together in a project, mm. especially if you're new to mixed media and you get quite, you know, everybody thinks mixed media is hard and it's not. It's I know, why it is, is that? It is mixing just different yeah. things together. Yeah. But sometimes colours do frighten us. But you've, if you look at the papers you've got around, and you, you've got colours there that you, you probably wouldn't necessarily pick, yeah. but look how they work. Exactly, they do work together. Yes. And then those, look, those two, mm. you know, sheets work together but as well. even the blue with that would be a weather. contrast. Exactly. But then again, here, as I was saying, you've got a pocket watch. Yeah. Take that out. You've got cogs on there as well. Yeah. Take that out. So you've got lots of scope. Do you know, I think that's what's striking me about mm. being here at Ho-Chander, actually. One thing I do love it is mixed media. Mm. And um, I've not seen an awful lot of mixed media. But here, I'm seeing a lot not of mixed media. Because it's really, it's real um, creativity, isn't it? It's real, it's, 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 it's really some, artistic. I think also it's a, it's a time for you. Mm. you it's know, very mindful. Get, get lost in yeah. it. Um, I always make, I don't always think of the end product. Yeah. I just make. Just make. Yeah. yeah. And have fun and yeah. play and be creative. And Don't worry. And then this now, is the last set. Yeah. Let's have a look at uh, the animals mm -hmm. here. So uh, these are absolutely lovely. Look at the detail. And I was saying that this little one here, if you did the water technique round the outside to, to pull the image away, mm. he would look so feathery. And that one there, yeah. you know, they really make the fur seem like it was coming alive. Yeah, absolutely. And then you Lovely. have the dogs oh, as look, well. Because, of course, cats and dogs, people yeah. tend to like one or the other. I like this one that you've got my dogs, because some people do have more than one pet. Yes. Yeah, So you've got do. that as a title yeah. in a straight, straight away with, what, four 
I look at the little cute one. I know. I just organised my holiday, <laughs> and my holiday is to go to my friend's house in Nice and look after her dog, <laughs> Uji. He's called Uji, as in Uji Um And he's 14 years old. Oh. I think I think last year he got a new lease of yeah. life with us because we were taking him for so many walks. Yeah. But he's like that. He's like mm. a little dog like that. It's really oh. cute. They're such they're lovely, aren't they, little doggies? And these bees. Yeah. I love this one as well because this one you could add colour to. You know, use your paints, use your inks, and just go around the outside. Mm. So you've got the focal point of the bees then being in the middle. Yes. And 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 you've got the different panels in different colours. I think yeah. that it's a lovely one. Lovely. And the detail. Oh, and then the butterflies. Now these, you know, when you go to um, houses and, and, and in, in drawers, you pull them out and they have those butterflies, yes. uh, like in um, stately homes mm -hmm. and things. These these remind me of those. Yeah. Thankfully, they're flying around. We yeah. used these <laughs> sheets this morning when we did. Um, um, uh, demos on the glass bottles mm. but again you've got lots of different elements in it or use mm. it as a whole sheet I mean it's, it's absolutely beautiful mm. or take out panels and put them on card and raise them up back and forward and you can still kick create yeah. the same sort of depth they are beautiful colors and more butterflies there yeah I love the background on that one I love that the green pops yeah and I like the orange mm. I think that's really pretty and the way it's going up as well yeah but these are all different elements in their own right as well mm. So Gorgeous. even though you've got panels, yeah. and that would fit like a lovely A6, yes. you, you, you could put them onto bigger, bigger yeah. pieces of work as well. Lovely. Were. And then back to the beginning. Yes. Well, they're very nice, aren't they? I'm slightly in love with all of those <laughs> papers. In fact, I would find it very difficult to choose, so I think I'd probably just buy them all. <laughs> uh, they're £9.99 and pence for each set, as you can see there, plus your postage, of course. 065880 is your item number, and then you just pick uh, what you would like. Do have a look on the website. It is hochanda.com. Uh, we also had another set as well, I think, that um, sold out earlier, yeah. but... We made a phone call and we have got some more. They are on uh, delayed dispatch, uh, so coming out in a little bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, two weeks, actually, is when they will be sent out to you there. But, yeah, there's loads of things on the, on the website that you will um, need to uh, use, I think, with these papers. So do have a look, hochanda.com. Perfect. I can't wait to see what our lovely Lou is going to be making for us now. Um, here's a fairy option, by the way, that is on extended... Um, delivery I've got it here in my hand right so this is it so this will come out to you in two weeks did sell out not surprised uh, we love mm. the fairies the sort of fantastical elements don't we as we can see there look at that There's so much detail isn't there so, so much, color. much detail yeah that's lovely that's isn't beautiful, it beautiful isn't it and the same with that one there I mean you've got her there but you've also got mm. the branches as well yeah um, if you took the butterflies from the butterfly sheet, put, put those it behind on. her and she becomes a, a fairy, you know, wings. They would work really well together. And then you've got all the different ones there. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels, is it? Yeah. No? Eight. Yeah. Uh, so you've got lots of different options there. But if you didn't want the fairy, take the fairy out and join yeah. the two wings together. Yes. And you've got a very commanding yes. butterfly image. Yes. I've just realised that's upside down, isn't it? <laughs> I've got those poor fairies on their heads. Ah, oh, there you are. Lovely. And then we've got that one there. She's glorious, isn't she? Oh, she look is. Again, that. look at all the colours. The right colours. There's one missing as well. There's one. Yes, there is of one missing. a lady. Mm. Um, oh, let's have a look. I'm going to be using her. Here she is. But there, you get four or five of them. Okay. And that's on a the, sheet. The lady. Yeah. There she is. Look, already. Perfect. Yeah. Obviously, your sheet will be intact. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do think, though, Lou, that. For the money, nine ninety nine. As I say, if you know, if you go into this shop with these handmade papers, mm. even just for a plain handmade paper, mm. you can spend a lot of money. You can. So to get these amazing illustrations on there, I think that's really, really good value. And they do take a lot of, you know, mediums and everything like that. Mm. This is just. I was going to. Didn't have enough time to show off the crackle this morning because it it was. And we had to do it in two minutes. Yeah. Really. But this was to show the crackle paste and how okay. I did a little bit and I've added a little bit of the crackle and I've used some of the metallic paints to add on the top. Yes. So that's that one of those fairy images that I was saying that I've ah, just put on one canvas. With the hair, I remember. With the hair. Mm. And I've just added the holographic paste. And these are the gritty bits. It's still a little bit wet. And then I've used the letters to spell out the word beauty. Perfect. And, th mm. and that's a, a simple home decor piece yeah. straight away. That's very I did good. say I would show... 
the different crackling that, that was going on. So they're the crafty bits. Now you can colour these. Mm. You could put the crafty bits in your paints, your other textures. You so, could paint over. So these are these yeah, bits? These bits here. Right, yeah. okay. So you could put them over, mm. paint them, put them into paints. Yes. And suddenly you've coloured them. Got, yeah. So there's lots of different ways to do it. And they add that obviously lovely text, textural mm. feel. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so lovely. So um, lovely. Right. Things like this just make you want to keep looking at them, don't they? And they sort of draw you in. That's the whole idea. And show you that again. It's so lovely. So many different um, elements to it. Beautiful. So I, yeah, I did say I'd try and finish it between shows. So I have tried. <laughs> you have tried. Yes. And you've tried very well. Yes. I was using a filter last night. Yeah, I got it on Instagram and it made my lips look like that. It was very weird. Remember, like I had lip fillers. It was very Ooh. strange. Yeah, I had butterflies and then these lip fillers and freckles. It was the okay. strangest filter I've ever seen. I didn't post it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's ridiculous. I don't mind a bit of smoothing of the lines, but changing my face and giving me lip fillers is not right. It's not right. Okay. <laughs> we'll just leave it to the, to the picture. To the <laughs> right, what I thought we'd do is we've been talking about how much these rice papers can take. Yeah. So I thought what we'd do is and we'll demonstrate how they can do it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this sand texture paste. And I've just taken one of the That's Crafty circles. Um, they normally stagger down. And I've just gessoed it mm. okay, for speed. And I'm going to use one of their stencils. And I'm just going to randomly put some of the detail on there and it's not planned as such it's just to put little bits here and there and let's see we'll do a couple there as well going off the edge now I'm going to dry these with the heat gun normally at home I would let them dry by themselves. Mm. So that is all I'm going to do with that. So let me just put the just put the stencil in a little bit of water. So I'll just heat that off. I love this um this textured paste and, and with the palette knife. Yeah. Because I've never done it but I would like to sit down with a canvas and a palette knife and just put some paint on. And I don't know I'll what would be achieved, way, yeah. but I'd like to paint that way and just layer it up. That would be good fun. People often do, um, sorry, I'll move those. People often do it with blobs of sort of paint as well. Yeah. And with a palette knife and just drag the colours through each other. Yeah. Now, it might be a little bit damp, but I've tried to keep it not as dimensional as I would do if I was um, had a little bit more time. I would add, make the pace of, um, more pronounced. Mm because we're going to actually put the rice paper on top of this. Yes. So to create another sort of texture. Well, that's not too bad, actually. So, so we've got that there. So this is raised already now. So what mm. I thought would be nice is if we took one of the rice papers and put it on top. So I'm going to work out where what I actually want. See, this is the hard part, isn't it, when you want to figure out what you actually want yeah. to want, work for the... I think I'm going to go for that. Right, let's just put some gel. Where's my gel? Here it is. I can see why um, people love watching this channel in terms of um, the creativity. There's, there's so much creativity on this channel, mm. isn't there? And there's, like I say, with the mixed media and just working with the ladies I've worked with so far, it, these projects are all so detailed. Um, and um, it's also about encouraging everybody to, to, to have a go. Yeah, not. Being scared is not the right phrase, but it's encouraging people that, you know, there is nothing wrong. And as demos, we all learn from each other as well. Yeah. Um, it, I was watching Lou last night, sort of thing, and I thought, oh, I must remember that, you know. Yeah. And it's, we do, we learn from each other, and it's being happy to share those skills, isn't mm. it? Then, we've all learned them from somewhere yeah. at some point, yeah. and it's being happy. So I've just put some of the gel medium on. And I'm just going to, let's have a look, like, where do we go? We'll go for, see there's so many choices here, I'm going to go for that bit there. I'm just going to turn it round. And just for speed, I'm going to cut it away. Mm. I would have um, put more of the gel medium on the sides, smoothed it down, then sanded it away. Yes. But for speed, we're just going to yeah. cut it down and then I'll cut it back a bit more. Right, so... I have cut bits out ready for different things. Okay. So now I've got my thing there, but and I've got the texture behind. So when I put another coat of the gel medium on the top, mm. I can then push in where I've had 
Can you see where I put the? Yes. Because I put the texture, and because it's got a gritty, because I've used the sand, mm. it will come through, and you'll feel that texture as well. Obviously, when it's dry. So we'll just go around that. I mean, you can use your fingers if you want to. I'm just using the paintbrush because I can put a little bit more pressure, so I can find each one of those areas. So yeah, you can really see them coming yeah. through to the surface now, can't you? Yeah, and but the pattern, I haven't lost any of the definition mm. on the rice papers. No, no, that's right. They're still there. Yeah. It's just, um, you know, they've got them, they're showing in a different way now. So I've got that actually around the outside. So let's just do that. I will cut those bits away. We're just going to give that a bit of a dry. See, at home I would, um, like I said, I would have um, sanded that back, but mm. I want to show different things. So we've now got, so it's, it's thinking about layering your rice papers in a, again in a different way. Yes, yeah. To create depth and texture. And because I've got a darker background, the blue now mm. has gone darker. Yeah. It's not quite as bright. So if I'd have done this on a white background, we'd have probably still retained more of the blue from the actual rice paper. Yeah. Check that dry. It's just about learning these different techniques, really, isn't it? That's the thing. Yes. Because, and, 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 you know, I think as well, having a go. Um, mm. If you just think, well, what will happen if I just put that on there and, and yes. try it? Yes. And then you get this amazing... I think sometimes as well, you might make mistakes, and those mistakes will end up being techniques that you really enjoy. enjoy. Yeah, yeah. It, like you say, it's having the... Having, having a play. Having a play and the confidence. Yeah, having to do that. Right, I'm just going to, like I said, cut away the actual excess. Now, you could tear it away. If I was at home, like I said, I would sand it. Yeah. But we'll just do it for speed, because I want yeah. to show some other bits. Lovely. Yeah, and everything is available, of course, on the website, hostchandler.com, all of the uh, mediums uh, that you are using here. How long have you been doing this, Lou? I mean, in terms of, like, crafting, I'm presuming it's... Crafting for years. Um, mm, about ten years, mm. I would say properly. And what was the? What, do you remember the first thing that you ever made? Oh, yes, it was. Um, it was something with peel offs on. Yeah. You know, and colouring <laughs> in between the lines. Which is a long way from where we are now. Yeah, it, it was something using peel offs and then colouring in between them, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Now I am just going to do a bit of sanding because I just want to highlight where we did use the the actual. Pace and now it stands out yes. a little bit more, so we can actually see. So we've added an extra layer of depth mm. to what could be a flat image. Now let's just move those out of the way. And what I thought would be nice is actually to have a look at and use some of the metallic paints. <gasps> you know what I'm going to say about these, don't you? <laughs> They're shiny. Um, I love these. That I love anything that's shiny. I'm a bit of a magpie. But oh, are you? Shiny, glittery, and any kind of paints that you can get your fingers into. Yes. Love it. Love it. Well, I'm oh, gonna look at that. I mean, I, I know. Love that I mean, cotton. this is the uh, metallic rose gold. I think you'll find. Look, I like. I like oh. metallic. Look, rose gold. Rose gold look, goes perfectly. <laughs> and all I thought we could do is, with using a sponge, is just lightly drag across and add a little bit of detail just around the outside and on where we've used so it's it's bringing back a little bit of color because mm. we've lost a bit of the blue from the original sheet yeah now you could use use your finger and I can then go around the outside yeah. and I can you could have gone around the outside this way and then I thought it'd be nice just to add a little bit of the green and this one is oh metallic patina Oh, I like the name. Fancy. These colours, though, are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. And they work across. So I just thought... Well, we I was going to say, they work tonally together mm. as well, don't they? And I think it was inspired by the paper to actually mm. do that. That's so, so all it is, is I'm just highlighting where we put that texture paste, you know, the sand gritty paste, underneath mm. to make it stand out. OK? So we've got that there. Now, we could actually take it one step further, and I've taken out from... One of the sheets there, as you see, I've been busy. Yeah. And I've got a piece that could actually sit on the top there, so you could layer again. Yes. And you carry on building and building and building mm. and building. Mm. Okay, but we'll, we'll just stop there for the moment, because I have done that on other ones. Okay. So if I bring these in, I'm just going to let that dry a bit, that's all. So 
all I've done there, that was the one on the maps I was saying to you, taking yes, out the different out images. The, yeah. mm. And you've got the unicorn there, and they're the clocks. You know when we were saying how bright they yeah, looked dark? Yeah, they, they were quite strong. Mm. And, but now when you knock them back, they don't look quite as strong. No, that's right. So we're just going to add a little bit. I'm going to use the sand texture again. As you can see if this is dry. Yeah, that's not yeah too I love the little um, white crosses on there as well. Yeah, that's, and once again, I'm that's another layer, isn't it? It is. I did do the stencil. Where have I put the stencil? If not, will you? Oh, there it is. You know, when you go, I'm sure I had the stencil. What I like in a project, though, is when you look at it and um, you don't know how it's been done. So, no. you know, when, when you, for example, when you look at that, it draws you in. You want to look in there, but you look at that and go, what came first? <laughs> what came first? You know, where did that person start on making that? And how did they get, you know, those, those layers and those bumps and those textures and things like that? So it's quite, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? It is, it I is. Like, I like, that's why I like mixed media. I think it's also the textural element from mixed media, isn't it? It's encouraging you to yeah. put different textures yes. um, and put them all together. And in a way, I think I, it, it, I always find it strange that people, well, not strange, but I think I find it interesting <laughs> that people are frightened of mixed media. But I think in a way, to me, it seems like an easier craft to do. For example, if you sat down and watercolored and you're only using watercolors, you've got to make sure that you're quite good at that because mm. you can't disguise any mistakes. But with mixed media, you can make mistakes and get away with it because you can kind of cover them up. Mixed media. Yeah, you can cover them up perfectly. with something else. And, and, and then the little mistake you've made becomes uh, a background that is working. Yeah. Mm. So I'm just going to dry that off. Now, normally I wouldn't dry a paste like this because you can make it bubble mm. if you put your heat gun too close to it. So, I'm going to leave that like that. Now, what the goal in my head was, we have the bigger one, I'm going to have the medium one, ah, and then we've got the smaller that's one. That's really cool. Sitting there like that. Yes. Okay. But we need some a word. I don't know whether we want to call it time. So I thought I could let you choose that. A word? Well, yeah. Did I have the alphabet sheet? Oh, you've got mine there somewhere. Yeah, so there they go. Already chopped into at some point. Right, OK. So I didn't know whether you'd like to cut out a word. So I've got to make a word now. Think I, of a word, yeah. I've got to think of a word. <gasps> think of anything. Pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And then I can plug my glue gun in, which I forgot. Sorry. I'm thinking of a word. I'm thinking this is very important. <laughs> No, I've got lots of words in my head, but I'm trying to think of the right word. You could do anything. You could do atlas, circle. Yeah, you see, I like, I like mystical and I like magical. I'll go for that magical. then. Magical. Magical. Mystical. Universe. Wonders of the universe. You know, see, I'm going. <laughs> so I'm going. So what do you want to go for? Because I'll cut some if you cut some as well. Do you want lowercase or uppercase? Let's go for mystical, okay. and we'll do we'll do lowercase. Okay. Yeah. So if I take if we cut the sheet in half, mm. and we've got a bit each. Yeah. And we just cut them out. Yep. So I'll get the do, whole word. I'll, do I'll, do, M, I'll give you the full. M Y S. Okay. Prove I can spell now. So you're going to give me the rest. So I got to try and think about it. If that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to find an M. Mm. Hang on. Right, and they don't have to be too precise. No, nope, not at all. All right, there's your. Oh, I quite like that one, actually. Um, now, this is the difficulty of finding the letter that you actually like. And you go, the, the, one that ooh, well, the one that works with it. Yeah. Misty. So the M. Yeah, quite like that. Yeah. And I, I'm going to go with that swirly, swirly Y. Okay. I feel like we need some background music. I on. know, while well, we're busy cutting and chomping mm -hmm. away. Things. You sort of forget that you're on television. You just <laughs> think that you're crafting. A M and then and L and L. Oh, there we go, all the way up there. I'm going to go for a nice little, nice little pinky, I think. A pink one, yeah. So I gave you huge scissors. I didn't know if you preferred smaller. I think no, let's go with that. Let's go with that one. With that S. Okay. How's that? Yep. So if we put that on. Let's get the gel medium. Where is it? Here it is. Mm. Now, we could go around the outside of these and you could feather them, but I'm just going to tear the excess away for speed. Mm. There we go. Yeah. So where would you like the word to go? Along By the, the way, now, mm -hmm. something you won't be aware of at home, we are aware here in the studio, is that we've been joined by our lovely audience. Hello! They're all here on a dream day. Look, is it, is it turning out to be a dream day? 
please nod. I <laughs> know it's horrible, we ate it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they're all here watching how television is made um, and picking up tips along the way and joining in and meeting people. So uh, they're having a lovely time. And lovely audience, would you like to be given something? Because we're going to give away something. I don't know how, we have just literally thought of this. I'm not sure how we're going to organise this. The pressure is on me now. Um, what, who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? They're all going to hate me now. I've only just started here and now there's going to be several <laughs> people who are going to hate me because I'm not going to give them a gift. So thanks very much for setting me up with that one. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to think of a way. OK. So I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we'll do. It's a competition. I'll tell you what we'll Ooh. do. Oh. Ooh. So in the next, what, how long have we got? 25 minutes. So in the next, right, the next 10 minutes, next 12.45, we will, um, we will say a word, I'm thinking, we will, hey, we'll, hey, say, over. we'll say a word, we'll say, we'll, we'll come, we'll, we'll talk about a technique. We'll talk about okay. a fame, a very well-known technique in mixed media. Lou, keep with me. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying. And yeah. then I will ask you what that technique was. And the first person put their hands up, get the, get the prize. You can't put your hand up already because you don't know what it is yet. Neither do I. <laughs> That's going to be even. Think of something. OK, so, OK. Right, OK, good. And we're now going back. Hello. But back to the demo, you mean? Yeah. Back to the demo. So I'm just adding the word with the letters that we've cut out. And I'm just going to put the gel medium across. I'm just going to go along there. And I'm just going to put another little bit of the gel medium over the top. I bring that it's down, it's probably yeah, easier see to see. You're, you're blending those in. Yeah, so we'll dry it off and then you can, they'll blend in to the background. And then you just can't see the drawing, can you? No, I mean, if, we'd have, if we'd have done the water technique, we would have made it more feathered and then you would have, um, it would have disguised it even further. Right. I'll just quickly give that a quick blast. So it's making them... The gel is a gloss as well. Yeah. So it'll make the, the letters stand out, but not overly, mm. if that makes sense. Love it. OK. We'll just stop at that point there. So then we've got our panels, and they're going to get put on. So we're going to have one there, and I think one there. Now, if I was at home, I wouldn't use a glue gun. I would probably just use normal wet glue. Mm. Only because I'm lethal with a glue gun. <laughs> I'm being 100% I, I, I had a glue gun once and I stopped it. I kept burning myself with it. Uh, you've got to be careful with them. They're yeah. brilliant, but you oh. have to be careful with them. I think you think, because they, they, they're meant to speed up the process, yeah. you rush yourself, you? rush don't yourself, you? yeah. If that makes sense. So yeah. I'm going to put that one there. I'm just going to hold those down in place for the moment. These are great, aren't they? And if you did the other side, of course, you could just hang them from somewhere. So you could, I mean, you could hang them from walls, but you could hang yeah. them in the middle of a room. You could make it dual-sided, yes. If you were, like, for a, ch a, ch a child's bedroom or something, if you were making something, you know, yeah. you could um, sort of make it as a, what are they called, those things? Mobile. A mobile. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> <laughs> what the, they don't do that, do they, mobiles? So that's... In more do that. <laughs> so there we go, we've used the, and that was just to show that the rice paper's how much they can take. So we actually did the texture paste underneath and then yes. put the rice paper on top. Yes. And then added loads of mediums plus the metallic paints as well yeah. to create that our thing. But it's all, it's a mix of three or four different papers yeah. and taking different elements out from each of the papers. What's amazing is that underneath all of that is just a bit of, what is it, chipboard? MDF. MDF. Yeah, look, that's how it started. <laughs> And then, if we flip it over, that's how it ends. And mm. that is the magic of mixed media, isn't it? That's yes. why I love mixed yes. media. It's fabulous. I mean, you, we could have edged it. I mean, if we went round um, in a darker colour, yeah. that would have just tied it all in a little bit more. But. What you need to do is get hold of the papers and the pastes and all the other bits and pieces because then you can play. There's nothing worse than starting a project and then you realise that you haven't got half the tools. So yeah. you just need to get all the bits and pieces, get it in front of you and then just start playing and layering, layering and don't and worry about it. Them. Don't worry about it. Don't be stressed. Use that kind of mindful technique and just enjoy yourself but just get the bits and pieces. Everything is on the website uh, including our deal of the day which is here if you want to get hold of it. It is 438202 as an item number. Number. And a uh, great saving today, twelve ninety nine instead of seventeen pounds and ninety nine pence. But of course, it is only available for a day. That's why it's called the deal of the day. So four three eight two zero two. Make sure you grab hold of that on the website, which of course is hochanda.com. Also on our website, you will see these lovely papers. We have got five collections for you. 
which option is your favorite so far now in each of the options we have got five sheets and they're all very different so you've got your lovely sort of animal lovers here because you've got your cats and your dogs as you can see they're beautiful illustrations you've got your lovely bees and the floors and then those amazing butterflies which are kind of lovely with a vintage feel this is my favorite I love the orange there in the corner with the script underneath and you could cut up those elements beautifully then of course we moved on to this one which were these lovely sort of pops of color the florals if you've ever wanted to create a, a watercolor background but not been able to do it yourself you could use that almost as if you have painted it yourself and then this was very different we're talking about the two heads that were facing each other almost kind of like silhouettes but made out of flowers i love this as if her hair is just going off in the wind uh, with the flowers and then wonderful butterflies again with those daisies and then the lovely bees doing their business there with the flowers and then you've got that girl which of course was on the um, the picture I'll just grab it that we um, saw earlier which is there so that's how that paper becomes that frame amazing isn't it? you see it's just layering you've got that you've got the basis you just need to layer it so just get your other bits and pieces and then you can put it all together Whoa! gone forever to the abyss <laughs> well not it's just the floor actually so it's safe you can go in safe it's not an abyss really it's not going to suck you in there thank you <laughs> lovely um, and then let's move on to our maps our uh, maps of the world there once again this is a beautiful this is like one of those amazing books that you find in a in an old bookshop you know those bookshops you walk in and there's that smell the smell of the papers this is like one of those places you would find the books also reminds me of um what's the name of that show lou where the did 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 where they had the guy on the the famous painting you know with the okay it's just me you I'll know try and home, think. don't you famous painting do, do, do. oh do it again look they're going do, 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 do. it's a really famous painting is it mike it's not michelangelo is it you know what i'm saying come on dreamers help me out yeah, there's a man in the, I think it's, isn't it Jesus in the circus? On the, it's on the, the, and it's a, do, 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 it's like it's been on Sunday night. The, 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 the. Oh, it was like a current affairs. It was um, like a current affairs program. Um, yes, I know what you mean. And it did have like the Michelangelo <laughs> within the world and the pictures. And yes, is, now. Look, I'm seeing this is. <laughs> John, who is showing our guests around. I've known him for like a hundred years, so he knows my, he knows my mad musings. I can't remember. <laughs> I still don't know what the name of the program is, though. Email in studio at hochander.com. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, this is the, it's going to come to me now. <laughs> I'll be having dinner tonight with my family, and I'll go boom with the name. That what? Where's that come from? Uh, anyway, these are beautiful. This is the one that we used, isn't it? This is the little the, the horse that we um, mm. that we cut out, which looks. I mean, look at it. It looks so different. But that's what you can do. <laughs> Whose idea was this? to have really fine delicate rice papers on a shelf thank you <laughs> right so that's that one now they're a total mess we're not going to go back to these again um right there are the collections behind as well that's that helps thank you Lou, <laughs> <laughs> for being really sensible i should have just picked up the ones behind shouldn't i not the ones on the front where was i <laughs> grunge that would be <laughs> these <laughs> <laughs> right okay so the, <laughs> these are the, lord help me these are the grungy ones now that's a beautiful beautiful blue look at the layering though on here i mean half the work is done for you all you need to do now is start putting that onto a platform adding your pastes having your paints having adding your paints i need some food that's what's happening to the blood sugar levels those are the letters that we were using of course with numbers plenty of letters there and the little uh, photographs as well oh what time is it we've got two minutes until we announce who are winning? I hope you were listening. There's some nods over there. Mm. South Bank Show. It was the South Bank Show. Uh, there are still blank faces. Did 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 did. That one. Who was it hosted by though? What's his name? <laughs> Melvin Bragg. Melvin Bragg. There you go. There's no prizes, I'm afraid though. <laughs> Yeah. Um, is that it? Have I been through them all? I think I have. 
they're all on the website so have a look hochanda.com everything is there all the mediums we're using is there remember if you spend over 60 pounds you can put things into your flexi pay basket divide the cost into two shop easier uh, and then that means that you get everything home that you need to be able to use so do have a look at the website there some great deals on that website we've got deals of the day we've got deals of the week we've got all sorts of things happening uh, and uh, yeah some lovely lovely things for you to really get creative and to play with and to have fun with we want to give you the tools so you can then go off and learn and create and and enjoy yourself that's that's what it is about with crafting it is about well, somebody once said to me what's this crafty stuff that you do what does craft mean and um, I just think it's about enjoying yourself and being creative and we all need to kind of switch off don't we and do things for ourselves and I, and I think to sit down and do things like this there's nothing better really no are we ready just to, to announce our winner? Because I don't know if these lovely people have to go off somewhere I should we yeah you can do, should we yes. do that should we do that so I need a drum roll uh, so this is this is what one of you is going to win. Oh, the faces. <gasps> <laughs> it is a bit wet. Ooh. Ooh. So now I think I know what I'm going to ask. Oh, okay. I think because you did it, you did it very sly. I'm not sure if you realise you did it, Lou. Actually, but you did you did it very cleverly, okay. very very cleverly. Right, are we ready? So when when Lou was talking about this, she was. Um, working with these letters and she said that in order to feather them even more she would use a technique oh two hands oh I don't know which one went up first the pressure well, I think it was the one. lady in the black you can give the canvas sorry darling I think it was lady do both yeah you can do the canvas you're both gonna get a prize oh. because we're gonna do a canvas and here so you can both yes but what is the technique ladies <laughs> yes, water, it's the water technique. So well done. You both win. Isn't that lovely? Oh. Did you listen? Did you know, John? The water technique? Yeah, of course I did. Of course he did. <laughs> <laughs> we don't um, believe it. We're just smiling, Congratulations, aren't we? ladies. Congratulations. <laughs> right, let's crack on then and right. um, finish this. This is from the fairy set now that we're going to be using. Yes. The one that's come back in stock yes, and, and is going extended. out in two weeks extended. So what I've done is, um, that's Crafty Do, some MDF tags. So I've taken two of the MDF tags and by folding some paper together, I've made a tag book. So yeah. we've got a front and back cover. So we're just going to do the front cover okay. to start with. And the water technique that we were talking about, that we are talking about the feathering, if we're just going to go round the outside of the image and add the water and just pull it down so you can put you choose I mean how much of the image you want so I'm, I'm going to go around all of it only because I don't know how far she's going to come down on the page also but as well what's, what's interesting about these papers and, and the way you use them is that if they've got a bit of color in them you can work with that color yes and then once again it looks like you've done the colouring. Yeah, it, it's the thing with a lot of papers is that if you're not sure where to start look at the colours that um, people have added to their papers and see what you have. Mm. So that's we're just pulling it away because we've got the water on there we can create that feathering. Do so you know what I was saying about those little cats if we did this technique around one of the cats? Yes that's right yeah it that would work, then it, to bring out the hair. Yeah especially the little kitten one it would look very fluffy. So we're just going to go around there. So that is an, an, a, the way of taking the actual image out. Mm. And what I thought would be nice is to actually have her on the front of the booklet. Yes, that's a great now, idea. Now, I'm not going to put gel medium underneath because this is still tacky, so I can go straight away over the top. And this will then seal it in place. Mm which makes the image um, robust or yes. makes what you're you're making mm -hmm. actually robust so let's go and do it that way and I can bring that down and just push that down there now I'm just putting a bit of pressure because I, I didn't want any wrinkles on her but it doesn't matter if you had done that and then I'm just going to tear away the edges. I don't like wrinkles. I try and pressure <laughs> all mine out of my face. Oh, oh, really? I filter them away. I do. My New Year's resolution was to put photographs on my Instagram without filters. Oh, really? I did one of me and Leonie. That was it. 
that was it that, gave that's up enough. after that. Okay. That's enough. Let's go back to the filters. Right, so for the front there, I thought we've got lots. I've got I just I've got a trim box, it's down there, and full of little bits that I've left over. And what I wanted to do is use some of the um, pastes mm. and put it across the top. Lovely. And we've got different textures. We can layer things up. We've got the ribbon going across the top there. But we could actually do that with the paste, so we could knock back some of the colour. Mm. So I'm going to go for this one for the moment. I'm just going to put a little bit of the, the gel just to hold it in place. By the way, if you are wanting those animal papers that we we're talking about with the, um, the lovely cats, they are now limited stock, so not many of those papers left at all. So if you want to get those, hurry along to the website, hochanda.com. I thought what we'll do is, instead of paste, let's do a little bit of the acrylic paint. Right, because this is a lovely sandstone colour, mm. and I we can go over. A bit of material, this lace you've used. It, it's Perfect a bit of lace, colour. yeah. Mm. And then I could, you can put some more gel medium in there, and that will stick it down into place. Yeah. But I just wanted to bring <coughs> out some of the lighten it up just a little with some of the the paint that we've got. So, I'll just add that along there. Now, if that, that feels too heavy, let's get the apron. Someone said to me, make it messy. Yeah. I can knock it back a little bit more along those lines. Okay. So, I'm just adding a little bit of colour that way. Let's get that there. And then what we could do, if we wanted to, well, let's do the holographic. It won't dry in time, Ooh. but we can have a play with it, though, can't we? Yeah. Um, I'll do that one because it's smaller. And then what we could do, so to stick the, yeah, I can actually put the paste mediums on top. We'll give you the details on the screen as well of the holographic if you um, want to have a play with that. And then I'm, I know I've obliterated some of it, but it's held it in place mm. in a different way. As you can see there. So now I've secured the ribbon in a different way so let's take off the excess yeah i'm not going to waste it i'm just going to drag it of course across. you're not going to waste it nobody ever wastes anything no. crafty do they no i've got the holographic there we can do that okay and then just to add some detail onto her i've taken the uh, pearly ink Ooh. so i'm just going to work from the lid so it's really loud and these are on pick and mix which yes. means that you pick um, three or is it five three pick three um, and you can pick any color combinations that you want uh, and there's loads of colors of these all on the website hochanda.com and I'm just going to knock a bit back of the color so all I'm doing is just adding a little bit of highlights and then I'm just going to bring it out and just flick it So just highlighting things in different places. Obviously, I would let things dry before yes. moving on to the next part. Yeah. Loving that. But, uh, so this is just from the rice paper. It just shows you we've put lots on there, and it's still, yeah, going still there. Strong. Yeah, absolutely. And then the so although it looks, thing. when you hold it, it, it feels quite um, fragile. Yes. But actually, when you're working with it, it's, it's quite robust. It is, it's very robust. Which is I'm interesting. I like. Let's go for that. Quite like that. And let's go for, ooh. You know, this is hard when you have choice. I know. You know, you just think, hmm. So we've got some of that. Like that. And then just to lighten it in places. I'm just using the, the texture paste. Now, with the texture paste, I could have added in some of the pearly inks or some of the paints, and then I've changed its colour yeah. again. And I wouldn't... So we're just going to go over this bit here. Lovely. If we take it away, let's just do a little bit on the opposite side. If in doubt, just always add a little yeah. bit of this. A little to bit add of something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we could add, and we've got um, the sprays as well. You could spray to knock that back a bit mm. as well. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. Just looking at the time. Yeah, we've got <laughs> literally a couple of minutes. So, yeah. I'm just going to quickly dry that 
off. It won't take long. Okay. And see if we can get it to join together. Mm -hmm. You can see, though, in all the steps that we've done, there's nothing that's too hard, there's nothing no. that's overly creative, there's nothing that's difficult. Um, you can see how you can change it a bit more. Just change it and just keep playing. I don't think you can go wrong, really. And I am going to do something because I, I want to bring in the pearl. Yeah. From where we did it up there, I just think, and even though this dries matte, I just think it needs something to match in. I mean, use a paintbrush if it's easier. And we can move that across like that. So I think I'm going to stop playing at that point, she says. I'm going to get a bit of tissue out and just knock some of it back. And because it's still damp, I mm. can actually take, soften some of the pattern as well. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Mm. There. And then the goal would be, would be to stick this on the top here it's a little bit too damp to do it at the moment so when it's all together yeah we've now got a concertina book so Beautiful. we've got pages to work in so i've stuck some of the yeah the rice papers in there already to create our own bespoke little book and you've got both sides to work from that would be such a lovely gift wouldn't it oh, it's such a lovely gift like a really nice journal and yeah, things see if we can perfect get it stuck down without yeah. moving things too okay quickly and normally at home you'd give it a little bit You'd stick it down with a little bit more care and attention. But that was just taking two MDF tags and making your own booklet yeah. from it. Now, th there is a hole there. We could have left, punched a hole all the way mm. through and you could mm. have uh, joined it together. So I'm hoping that might... I know it's still a little bit damp. Let's have a look. But there we go. So yeah. there's our booklet. Lovely. Just made using the rice papers and some of the paints and some of the textures yes. to add on together. I mean, I've left that there. I would go over it again. Yeah. But that was just to show you that you could use the pearly inks on top of the rice papers, but I would yeah, not obliterate it mm. quite so much. I would have watered mm. it down a little bit more. Mm. But it just highlights in lots of different ways. Yeah. And there is a lot happening to that rice paper. <laughs> there's a lot happening, but there's a lot of beautiful happening, yes. i tell you something. Isn't that lovely? I love it. Well, I personally do. Well, look, if you want to have a play just like that, just grab a few bits and pieces. If you've never done it before, go to the website, treat yourself, get some things home, sit down, start playing. I guarantee you'll feel better for it when you start being creative. Thank you so much. No, thank you. It's been an absolute joy. It really has. <laughs> and well you. done for doing that competition thing. That was off the cuff, wasn't it? It was totally. <laughs> see